What's up, guys? Welcome to today's stream. Feeling good right now, so let me just... Alright, hold up. Get my stuff organized and set up. Rearrange my microphone. Turn my fan on, because I just came back from... Del uh, deliver... What, what is, what's going on? What, what is all these issues, bro? I'm live on social media, just only Instagram. I really don't be going on a whole lot of different uh, platforms. Link. All right, um, dang, I'm only, I'm 50% done with this place. All right, I guess I am. Hopefully everybody's having a good day so far. Hopefully y'all is having a motivational Monday. So if not, you need some motivation, I got you. Should try to clean those tracks. I feel like them tracks is probably the, like the hardest to clean because I was cleaning it, I think, like two, three streams ago, and something wasn't adding up. Like I put like some like extra effort into cleaning it. This place is just bad, dirty though. I don't know why they just won't tear it down, just rebuild it. I feel like that'd be so much easier. Right then, got me cleaning this whole place. It's like, bro, look at this, man. This is too much. And these sounding like trains is getting ready to come flying through. This is oil, bro. That has to be oil. I should just like. go through it like that get them oil spots later I should be playing ground branch that's what I should be doing but it's like when you're addicted to multiple video games then you know then just kind of start with the easiest one then work your way up 
I might end up playing ground and nah, I, I think I am gonna play ground branch at some time because I know I ain't gonna be able to clean up this whole the other like 49% all in this one stream I mean I can if I wanted to but now nah, I'm like let me I'll play some other games Feel like freaking Lightning McQueen, he was building up that road. So like I saw this sign and I came um came back from outside and it was like all dirty looking. First thing that I thought of was this game. And I was like, bro, I can really take a pressure washer. No, it wasn't even a sign, it was um a basketball hoop. I don't know how I got a sign and a basketball hoop confused with each other. That was just weird, but it's like that's how like just a game gets in your head to where it's like now you just see anything like dirty and you're like, bro. Like, I gotta get a pressure washer. Oh, so it's like... Oh, okay. Okay. Now I figure it out. So it's like only like half of it.
Dang, it's like, I'm about to say, I was like, how much of this track I got clean? All right. I only got to five um five percent in this. That's crazy, man. That is some crazy stuff. It's like any other time it'd be like ten, like at least like at least like twenty more percent. I only got five percent. I'm like, that's crazy. That's how they know this place is too big. It's like this has to be like the biggest map in the whole game.
Hey, what's up, DK? How's the day treating you? Good, did two mile run jog this morning. Nice, nice. Yeah, I did a two mile. Uh, no, it was like it was. No, nah, it was probably. How much was it again? It was like over three. I walked though. I was like, I wasn't. I didn't really feel like jogging today. But let me check real quick. It was almost, it was 3.82 miles. They had, like, some irregular heart notification. I was like, bro, am I, what is going on? Like, they can't scare people like that, fam. Like, Fitbit needs to chill with the notifications and crap. They talking about just set it up. And I'm like, bro, what? Like, warn somebody. How some shin splints from not resting properly. Some will walk two miles later. Yeah, I have shin splints like every time when I go out. I just jog through it. I'm like, I, you know, I've been having it. I think I started noticing that when I was in high school. I was like, I got like really bad shin splints. Like, I see like what happens is like, I'll, um,. If I, like, walk or if I kind of, like, just, like, jog through it a little bit, then eventually I just don't even feel them anymore. I'm, like, I'm able to just, like, go straight through it. Only time if I need to stop is if I'm tired. So bad. That it hurts to put my legs down, so I had to walk in order for the flare up to stop. Yeah. I'm like, I, cause I looked online, they was all like, oh, getting shins are also tender to touch. Not so much mine, like, cause I think I did, like, put, like, a, a test to it. Like, I can rub, like, against them, like, adding some pressure and stuff, and it doesn't, um, like, I can feel it, but it don't hurt. I wouldn't necessarily say like it hurts to touch, but it's like, it's kind of like a sore-ish type feeling. But it doesn't hurt, so that's good. I think it's... It has to be years of hitting my shins across stuff. I don't know how many times I've hit my shins across stuff and been like, well, that's it. I'm done for the day. That mess hurt. those out the way so now I just gotta after resting it's just sore I can rub the muscle down it'll start to feel okay but any sort of flex in the shin hurts huh that's yeah do you have um I heard like I don't know cuz I they don't necessarily I wouldn't necessarily say that they help when you're jogging but I think like afterwards I think that's what they're more so used for but um sleeves Cause I was like, I um, I wore that. I'll wear those, and then I also have like these, like um, 
like tights kind of like they're like some like uh like sleeves but it's just for my like whole leg i heard those help after like afterwards but they don't necessarily help for me at least they don't help while i'm jogging no i don't have any compression things for my legs i will recommend getting that maybe if that helps but if not then yeah it's probably um just got to jog through it. But yeah, there's at times when I wear those and I wear um, the compression pants and the sleeves. So I have to do don't know if i'll be allowed that stuff when i'm taking my isc well yeah you know it's just like to like there to like i guess like a comfort thing yeah probably like in the military they might not have that stuff but they might not i'll look it up to see like can you wear compression sleeves during that stuff if not then you know then yeah i guess just jog without it Since start eating, again, my body has returned to its normal function, which means cramps today. Um, what, like, what, well, no, because you, you were saying yesterday, what kind of foods? I see, like, look up online, like, um, foods that can, uh, that won't be causing all of that, like, cramps and stuff. Start eating on that. I'm a female cramps kind of come with that. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I didn't know it was those type. I thought it was like with the foods that you were eating. I didn't know it was those type of cramps. Did take a few naps when I got back because I slept three hours last night and I was tired. Post run walk. Dang, three hours. I remember I went through a phase where I was getting them in, um, hours of sleep, but I'm like, I had to stop. I'm like, nah, I gotta sleep a little bit more. Lately, though, I've been waking up like mad tired. I don't know why. It's like, 
I want to go back to sleep, but I'm like, I'm waking up at the time when I should be getting out of bed. I don't like being in bed too long. I went to bed late because I washed my clothes late. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm like, I, I got to, um, I got to work on that because I feel like even now I'm starting to like go to sleep at a later time, like 3 a.m., so I'm like, I'm trying to work on that, but at the same time, I'm like, fam, it's just so much, so much to do. So I'm going to try to be in bed early tonight. Yours, like 5.15, okay, okay. Oh, it's two type, uh, okay. Do you know what an eighth of a mile is? An eighth of a mile. I don't know, like, the distance, but... No, not, not really, no. Like, what, like, 800 feet or yards or something? Or it's, like, um, 0.80 or 0 0.08. That's how I'm supposed to run tomorrow. One eighth of a mile. Walk for a minute. Repeat till two miles. Okay. Me, I'm like, I just, I don't know. Like, I, I don't really pay attention to when I'm like outside. Like, oh, let me see. Like, because I have it where I have my Fitbit watch. Or oh, let me know all that stuff. So, like, I, I don't just go out and just like, okay. Like, I don't be paying attention to that distance stuff. But. I, um, yeah, I just go, say I'm gonna run in this area, see how far it takes me, come back home, I'm like, okay, I did three miles, or two, four, five. I'm a beginner runner, so I have to take it slow and be careful so I can slowly improve to hurt myself. Yeah. Yeah, that's so how I have to say how I start. I started off doing like three miles. And then I was um then once I just felt like three was too easy, then I worked my way up to five. Then five started getting easy, but I was like 
I don't know, like, do I just do, like, two laps or, like, a where how I usually jog or... And then the one day I did eight miles and was all like, nah, bro, my, my legs, my legs are shot. It felt good, though. It felt good doing that. I sleep following my dad's training. I hurt myself. That's why my shins hurt. I would run walk four miles with very little breaks and then walk back home. Then ran another mile later. Beat that next day is beginning. Yeah, that's like, that's all I was saying. I was like, don't listen to him because he, he going to mess around and, you know, cause bodily harm listening to his workout plan. And it's like, bro, do you follow this workout plan now? It's like, no, you don't. So you don't know how hard it is. That's why I'm like, me, I just, I just do what I feel comfortable doing. He's like, make sure you push yourself when you go out there. I don't want you slacking off. It's all like, you go out there and uh, jog that amount of distance. I'm like, I'm doing what I feel comfortable doing. I'm like, man, it's like, how are you going to tell? Like, you ain't even a drill sergeant. It's like, yeah, I listen to the actual drill sergeants that want me to do it, but... It's like, I ain't doing that. I'm going to stress myself out, so... i like, nah, I... I did it, or I um, or I did what I felt comfortable doing, and then just came back and told them that I did that. I'm like, I ain't gonna go out there and push myself a distance. I'm like, I ain't gotta push myself that. I push myself, and I push myself to the point. Okay. Yeah, that's I'm like stuff like that. That's not good. That is not good. So, ain't no way I've been listening to his workout plan. His workout plan gonna kill somebody. Cause if those if those guys be uh, freaking passing out and you know they need to uh, get like some medical treatment in the military from doing that training, it's all like, bro, and you're by yourself when you're out there. So like, that's what it's like the part that's scary. Cause it's like you overtraining yourself for because of what he says. I'm like, it could have been a it could have been a very deadly situation listening to him. That's what I'm like, I do what I feel comfortable doing. No, a drill sergeant, if they see you limping or physically shutting, they would stop you because if they don't, you'll get hurt and end up in the medic and they're graduating gets pushed. Some guys end up in boot for six months to a couple of years due to injuries. That's what I'm saying. It's like, you know, if those guys, like, if they see you, it's like, I'm, what I was more so saying, it's all like, you're by yourself. Like, they, yeah, they, in the military, yeah, you got, like, the help if they see you, like, hurt or whatever. But, like, in, you know, by yourself, like, they're not you're you're out there by yourself like he ain't there with you like training and exercising and stuff so that's what i'm all like nah it's like you gotta take it easy it's like and then like get in the military and you know push yourself but don't push yourself to the point where it's like you can't breathe or you're wheezing or hurting and all that stuff so that's all more so talking on
Yeah, I cleaned this whole area. Wow. Well, it's except the rooftop, but... Okay, let's... Dang, man, I forgot all about this. Wow. That is a lot. Might put this, like... Right there, get that out the way. So, I, today, I focus on my body. If I felt I could push myself through the eight, I would, like, okay, just make it, like, a step. Yeah. You know, I'm like, you know, do what you can, but if people are in your ear telling you to do stuff, and it's like, look, I don't care how long ago you did this, it's like, things have changed, people don't push themselves to the point where, you know, they done passed out and ended up in the hospital, so like, I'm, you know, doing what I can, it's like, if you don't like it, then hey, that's on you. Well, I really left like the ladder mark here, wow, that's crazy. But, yeah, it's like, people, they try to, like, push me to do stuff. And I'm about like, are you doing this? I'm like, no? Okay, so. I'm like, don't sit here and try to, like, uh, tell me to do stuff. And it's like, you ain't even doing it yourself. Just hit one more. You can sit down and rest the shins. Yeah. Me, I'm like, I'm, when I'm jogging, I'm like, there might be a significant distance if I'm walking. Because I'm like, bro, I'm in pain. I ain't going to um, over, you know, mess around because, no, I think there was a time where I did do that. I was jogging, and I, but I think it was more so with the shoes I was wearing, but I had just kept, like, jogging and jogging. was all like, all right, you know, so be it. But the shoes was, like, digging into this muscle and, like, below my calf, and I messed my, I messed that muscle up. Like, it was, it got to the point where I was like, I remember I got home, and I was limping, and I was like, that's not good. And then it was in, um, it was not too long ago. It was a wrestler. He had, you had to get better running shoes. Yeah. Don't get no high tops. Don't get like no high, like some like hard high top shoes. Get you some shoes that's like, so you pick the shoes I have. Okay. They're high tops. Stop wearing them because that mess is going to mess like this. It's going to mess a muscle up. But I was like, man. And then never had, I was like, because no, I was testing out these other, um, or I was, yeah, testing out some Nike shoes. And uh, it, my uh, leg had felt fine. As soon as I wore these other Nike shoes, it was like the Nike React Frenzies. That's what they call them. And I had a problem uh, freaking sitting in them shoes because they're just like dug right into the back of your leg. And so I was like, nah, bro. I really don't wear those shoes that often. Unless I know I'm going to be, like, walking around a lot. But other than that, I don't really don't be wearing those shoes, like, out in places. Because I'm like, nah, them shoes is cursed. Oh, yeah, those, those are nice. Those are nice. I feel like those, yeah, those are solid shoes. But look up Nike React Frenzies. Those are the shoes I was I had wore. I wore those shoes one time when jogging, and that was it. Never again. Like them shoes is pretty much like some like Nike like boots. Not even that. Like I have to say, boots are more comfortable than um than those shoes I would rather worn some boots and give me some Tim's and I'll wear those like Tim's ain't gonna mess tear a muscle in my leg and can't to the point I can't even barely walk probably just need more cushion in the soles of the shoes um there are some shoes out there where they do have that but they're mad expensive like 
there's the one running shoes that I got. I got those because they were they were saying like they're like the best like running shoes to have. And but I think they were saying like they had got banned from the Olympics because they felt like they were too springy. And so overall meaning like they're just they bounce around too much. I wore the shoes. They feel fine. Like I actually I like them. I was going to wear them today, but I was like, nah, let me wear um these other shoes. Insoles out and it's so thin. Nah, yeah, you should always leave the insoles in. Yeah, it's like you should leave those in, cause if it's uh if it adds like more um cushion to them, it's gonna not be too like jogging and running. It ain't gonna be too damaging. Like I would like I might replace them, but I won't just take them out. And so it's super thin. Oh yeah, and probably get you like some like Doctor Shows or something. I know at the I'm gonna replace them. Yeah, I know Dicks. They got like the uh, I think they have like the athletic like type of um those in, like uh, shoe insoles and stuff. So yeah, there you go. That or big well nah I forgot you don't live out here no more. They have like a sports store in your area, then go there and check. You can feel every rock and every crack when running. Oh yeah, them shoes, them shoes is mad thin. I feel like that when I wear Vans. That's why I really don't be wearing Vans unless they got like the cushioning like insoles and stuff. But if they don't, oh my god. Like I I cannot wear Vans like unless I put some insoles in it, but I remember when I used to work at my old job, but I bought some Vans like you know just to see what the hype was all about. I was just like, "Fam, people really I wear the pro vans that have the cushion. Yeah, those are the when like those are the ones that you need. But them uh them just them like regular like old school ones. Nah, stay away from those. Them shoes is cursed. What I do with that ladder? No, I think I should be able. Yeah, I should be able to. And that's why I like wearing my combat style boots because they have thick base. Yeah, that they have like a thick out um outsole and stuff. All boots are kind of designed like that. Well, no, I take that back. There's these one um Nike boots that I have. They're not. They don't. They lost its cushion. If they had any, but they were cheap though. So like I think they were just more so meant for like you know a couple of winters and stuff. That's about it. But um, yeah, Tim's Tim's was com they, they're comfortable. There's a Walmart that has a bunch of shoe insoles. Yeah, that should yeah that should work. Check it to see if it's a good brand. I look at some reviews of them before I just go up and buy them. I don't know. It's like Walmart. It's a trusting store, but at the same time, I'm like I don't want to buy something that has like a two three star rating on uh on the website or any other website there doctor so oh, okay yeah then yeah that's that's good that's good they have doctor shows running so yeah yeah there's like that's what I was saying like at, they had like at the dick sporting goods store like an athletic version It's crazy though, cause like, I guess maybe it's just with that how um, what you call it uh, how, like how like Air Jordans are designed, but like, cause the original Air Jordans, those shoes came out in like the 80s, and like I can wear those shoes no problem outside. I don't feel like I mean I yeah I feel rocks, but they're like 
I guess like the rubber outsole is just this um thick to where you don't really be feeling it and stuff. And with Vans, it's like I think it's that gum outsole where it's like it's it's kind of cushioning, and I'm but it's like you don't really feel it. It just absorbs, but I'm like it's like digging into my feet and stuff. But yeah, it's like Air original Air Jordans. I could wear those shoes no problem outside. Vans for the, on the other hand, like them shoes is just no, they're not it. But I think Vans are like 60 shoes. Them shoes I think Vans are a little bit older. Air Jordan on the other hand, like his shoes. He got like he got some comfortable shoes. Surprisingly, I'm like you think basketball shoes. Then again, it's like those guys are running back and forth on courts and stuff, so like they have to be like some sort of cushion to them. But a whole lot of people they don't really be playing in like Air Jordan ones. I feel like Air Jordan ones he just did that just for show. Them shoes is more casual shoes than basketball shoes. If I don't get insoles, that might just get some moleskin. Oh, skin. That don't sound right, but yeah, I'll definitely get you some insoles. Get those soon. But yeah, Air Jordans, I'm like, because I, I love um, 11s. I wish they came out with like a running version of the 11s. The 11s feel so comfortable. I'm like, I, I love those shoes. Like, 11s is hands down by far the best Air Jordan shoe of all time. Like, 1s are good. What other shoes are out there are good? Yeah. That's about it, but I love 11s. I get so dark outside. Most skins. It's a little pad you can put on the heel. Ball and foot. Against friction. Yeah, I'll just go get some, like, Dr. Shows. Dr. Shows seem like that they'd be a lot better. I wonder if they have any Air Jordan 11 running. Well, no, they had like those. Them comfort ones wasn't really running shoes. I gotta see. I gotta see if they got any like 11 Air Jordan 11 running shoes. Or some shoes that's like the Air Jordan 11s. I'm trying to think though, there ain't really no other like, cause I know people, they would use uh, Air Jordan ones as like workout shoes for when they're at the gym. And I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Keep you like stable if you're like squats or any of that other stuff. You have Tim's. I had Tim's, but I gave them to my dad cause they, they didn't fit me. But no, I was like, anytime if it is like some, like my winter shoes are, um, uh, Air Jordan ones. What color? Uh, the tan, like the basic tan ones. But yeah, I'm like, cause the Air, the original, I got like some that are like leather, the Air Jordan ones, so I just wear those if it's like raining outside. Spray the bottoms with some waterproof stuff. Those are my winter shoes. I'm like, I, they've been helping me out. Ain't gotta worry about them like, uh, messing up or anything so black ones I don't know like I I'm trying to stay away from like all black shoes but yeah I'm like Air Jordan ones. Anybody looking for some good uh, winter shoes? Get you some leather Air Jordan ones. Spray uh, the bottoms with some waterproof stuff. So like you got you guys some shoes. Plus, it's like easy to clean with that leather. It's like you could just go and get you some uh, water and just damp it, wipe them down. They should be good. Shoes are black other than my red boots and blue bands. Okay. Yeah, I got like a few pairs. That's about it. Very 
pairs of shoes. It's like probably back in like 2017, I had eight pairs of shoes, but yeah, that number has grown a lot since then. Honestly, I don't know how it happened. It's just one day bought some shoes. Next thing you know, I had like freaking 70 something pairs of shoes. Everybody like, why do you have so many pairs of shoes? Why do you buy so many? I'm like, because I like shoes. Like, can't help it. That's one thing about being a sneakerhead. Everybody always got to ask you that question. Why you have so many pairs of shoes? I'm like, fam, because it, it's, you know, I just, I have a, a sneaker addiction. I, I love just sitting down, just staring at shoes. It's like, obviously, I'm, yeah, I'm not taking them out the box and not, you know, not wearing them. I don't think there's only like four pairs of shoes that I haven't worn outside. Okay, I have this cushion yoga mat, tipping it cut out, some shoe lens soles. I don't know if that will work. I'll just go and just buy some by the doctor shows. I feel like that just, I don't know, because I feel like if you cut them up, then it's like the cushioning is just, I, I feel like that's not designed for like no shoe and so. I like. I'll just go get the doctor shows. I feel like the doctor shows, cause like if you cut them up, then I feel like the cushioning's just gonna come out on the sides and stuff, and it's just gonna it's gonna be flat like after a few times of wearing it. Versus like some doctor shows where they got that stuff like compacted into like this like thing where it's like can't really go off on the sides. It's just gonna give you more cushioning and stuff. But, yeah, I like doctor shows is the best bet. Like you ain't gotta get you a whole new yoga mat, and you ain't gotta have like a yoga mat that has like two cutout spots. It's like, man, what happened to that? That's what they honestly what they should do is come out with like some uh, Nike. They should come out with like some React insoles, so you can like get you like any old pair of like shoes that you want. Put some like Nike React cushioning in it, like cause Nike React cushioning, man, is that and the Zoom cushioning. Those are probably without doubt the most like comfortable like cushioning insoles that you can have for some shoes, insoles and outsoles. Especially the zoom cushioning. Like, there's these one running shoes I have called the Alpha Flies. And, yeah, those are the shoes. They was like, they got banned at the Olympics, but they are so comfortable. I'm like, I, I had to, like, sneak them shoes in the Olympics. Those are probably, those are probably the most cushioning shoes I have. Those Alpha Flies. They're mad expensive though. I was like, dang man. It's like why they gotta be so expensive? It's like they just run these shoes. I'm like, these shoes better last a lifetime as expensive as they are. They have shock absorbing insoles. They probably do. You probably have to like go online somewhere. That's why I think that with that react cushioning, what it is, it's like um shock react, um like shock absorbing. Because I know when I go on the website and be looking at, like, the stats, or not stats, but the, um, like, just overall looking at, the, like, stuff of the shoes, they'll, uh, they'll say they has, like, some shoes are like that.
But yeah, that Nike React cushioning, I'm like, bro, they come out with that. I'm buying, I'm honestly going to probably buy like 20 of them. Just so I can see what they feel like in like different types of shoes. My dad forgot I made breakfast at six. Come upstairs and there's toast, bacon, and boiled egg. Shoot, I'll take it. Save it for tomorrow. Yeah, that's that's good too. So once I get to the hour mark of my stream, I was going to play something else. I'm like, got to clean this part first. Making chicken wrap right now. Nice, nice. Should be good.
All right. Dang. There's still so much I got to clean. Got to clean this ceiling. All right. I think I start this game up next. I'm going to try to clean up that. But, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead. Play some ground branch. Almost started up the wrong game. Where is it? Ground branch. Ground. There we go. This game starting. It's like speaking of ground branch, the like developers of the game just liked one of my tweets. Why is it taking so long for this game to start up? It's like Steam, it's like, stop being slow. So this should hopefully take care of several game crashes, but I decided to enjoy the issues. Oh, this game might be updating. That's why it's not starting up. Yup. An update did happen. Come on, bro. I was about to say, I'm like, what is the issue? I like how in Rainbow Six Siege, oh, maybe that's, how cuz that when did this game come out? At some point in time in Rainbow Six Siege, they changed the name uh, from Terrorist Hunt. Cuz I remember they had a Terrorist Hunt in that mode, and whoever this guy is, I gotta see, cuz I'm like, nah, whoever this guy is um, that's behind this game. Cuz I know they did say that he, um, he developed some of the uh, uh, older... It was either older or newer or all of uh, Rainbow Six games. And I'm like, he might have some ownership. He might have been the one that created Terry's Hunt. He's all like, nah, I'm starting my own company and I'm bringing the moat with me. Guys, all you guys ain't gonna uh, live off my name. Why is like it look weird? Something don't seem right.
get some shooting done. I know this game kind. Of, I think it does kind of take like some um, motivation from that one game insurgency a little bit. This is that one area. This ain't the compound. Maybe it is.
this how people really be using the uh, toilet? I know that thing would have folded up underneath me. I do not like that toilet. Now that alerted everybody. This is so weird. Like they, this was the room that they, that they they did the, the Osama thing. I ain't gonna say what, cause you know, kids could be watching. It's like, come on, bro. Are they searching the house? Dang, these are some smart AIs. Trying to lure them up here. Did he take off running? Still mad tired. I'd take a nap if I was you. Took three. Oh, dang. Well, make it make it an even number. Take four.
That man took an ankle shot and died? Wow. Alright. I shot something important. If it just shut his whole body down like that, that's crazy. That was a good shot. That was pretty solid.
What's up, or, uh, Dizzle? We played this game a lot. Not a whole lot. Like, I played it for a little bit, and I stopped. I had to say, like, I've just now been, like, recently getting into it. I don't want thing these guys is hiding. Oh, whoa, what was that? Now, let me go back in this building. Get that crap. I don't see nobody. Bro, where'd that gunshot come from? I ain't gonna go up that.
I've ran through this building before. I remember this building. feel parched i feel freaking nervous because i don't know what's going on i don't know where these guys are at i think i'm about to go back that way No, actually, no, no, wait a minute. Didn't they say there's like a time limit to this? eight just going downstairs yeah it means that it's either working out is working or just overworking man got butt shots
are you? Oh my god. Why is it that? I swear, man. Nah, I'm done. It's like I put all those shots. At least some freaking something would have flew off up in his eyes and blinded him. But like, that's crazy. That's some crazy stuff. It's like, yeah, I'm done for the day. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. See if I have somebody I can raid. So I'm gonna raid my friend uh, Nav. Feel like I haven't raided her stream. Wait. I don't know why they always be making these ads look like somebody's streaming and stuff. I'm like, who's this? Did she just raid somebody? But, yeah, that's. She's playing Escape from Tarkov, one of the hardest games in the world. So make sure y'all go join her stream, show her some love and support. Be greatly appreciated. But until next time, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for tuning in for today's stream. Stay tuned for the night stream and peace.